Array is one of the most used concept in any application and in the previous video we were learning about couple of basic things about the array. Now in this video we will talk about some operations on that array by using the array class. So let's just comment all these things for a while and we will start our learning from a fresh array. So over here let's just copy one array like this, this one and let's just remove these things as well. So we are having this very basic array let's add some space like this so just think that we are having a program and in this program i do not have anything else apart from this array so i have only this integer type array and there are five elements in this array rest code you can see it is commented and this is just for your reference you can get this entire source code from the github repository the link is given in the description box below so let's see some more operations so two operations we have already covered in the previous video for example if you want to get some value by using the index from this array then you can do that how so let's assume i'm having this console dot right line and if you want to get the value by using the index then this was the approach that we were using right to update the value on the other hand you can simply use this number zero by using the index and you can assign some other values like this perfect now let's talk about another operation first operation is the reverse operation i want to reverse all the elements of this array how can i do that before performing any operation in this array i want to tell you one thing in c sharp you can perform almost all the operations at least by using two approach on array one is the array class and second is the link queue link queue is the most powerful concept in c sharp programming language and the link queue is used mostly for the operations in this video, we will talk about the array class. We will not use the link queue operations. Although I will tell you some operations from link queue as well at the end of this video, but the main focus is going to be on the array class. So let's say I want to reverse all these elements by using the array class. How can I do that? So for that, I have to write this array dot reverse, and then simply I have to pass these numbers. If I want to have a look on this array class, then just right click on this one and choose go to definition. Over here you can see this is an abstract class and the name is array. This array is implementing this i list and there are so many static methods. So here you can see we are having this copy, get value, set value, remove, binary search, copy. There are so many methods available in this array class and you can use all these methods in your array. So now let's just simply use a for each loop over here and here I can simply just print all the values like this during the initial time you can see the elements are in this one two three four five order let's just run this application and see what is the output on the output screen you will notice this time we are getting the reverse order five four three two one even if i will put a breakpoint over here at this line and just run this application again in the debug mode then you can notice if i will hold my mouse here on this numbers then you can see all the values have been updated by using this reverse method so it is five four three two one so it means at the first index the value is five at the second it is four so that is the main concept of this reverse now let's talk about the next operation which is sort so let's assume although this array is already sorted but let's assume that it is not sorted and here i want to add a couple of more elements so let's say it is nine and then over here I'm adding 7 so this is the array that I'm having now now I want to sort this array so there is another method in the array class which is sort you can simply use that sort method and remember the sort method will always sort the values only in the ascending order so let's just run this application this time and let's see here you can notice that in the numbers this time we are having all the sorted elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these two values have been moved at the last so let's just remove this breakpoint click on the continue button and on the output screen you can notice we are having all the values in the sorted form if you want to have a look on the sort method then you can right click on this one and choose this go to definition and this is the best way to learn about any concept here you can notice there are so many overloaded versions in the first one you can simply pass the array in the second one you can also pass the items in the next one you can pass the index so basically if you want to start the sorting from a specific index till a particular length then you can also use this method so there are so many versions of this sort method in this array class and you can use any one of them based on the need so basically i would suggest to have a look on all of them and try to implement all of them and that is how you will learn the programming 
now let's go back to this program.cs class now let's say i want to find out the index of a specific element so let's say i'm having this seven i want to find out the index of this seven value how can i do that so for this approach also we are having one method which is called as index of this one and in this index of method let's see what we have to pass so here you can notice if i'm hovering my mouse first we have to pass the array and then second we have to pass the value so we are passing this array that is the numbers and then we have to pass a value which is 7 and this method will return a value in form of integers so let's assign it in an integer value like this and let's put a breakpoint like this run this application let's see what is the output in this index here you can notice we are getting 3 it means the index of this 7 is 3 let's verify that 0 1 2 3 so here you can notice the index is Three. what will happen if i'm having seven two times over here like this let's run it again and this time you can also notice we are getting only three it means it will fetch the index only for the first occurrence of that particular element there is one more method with name last index of let's see what is the output in this case here you can notice the output is eight it means this method will provide the index of the last occurrence of that particular element so if i want to find out the index here you can notice 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 if you want to find out the index from beginning then you can use the index of method or if you want to find out the index from last then you can use this last index of now next method is going to be copy let's say i want to copy all these elements from this array to another array and for that let's say i'm having one more array it is numbers let's say it is one and it is like this five there are only five elements over here so i want to copy five elements from this numbers to this numbers one array how can i do that so for this as well i can use this array dot copy class and here i have to pass a couple of values if I right click on this copy method and choose go to definition you, you can notice you are having multiple overloaded version and here you can notice it is passing first the source array then the destination array and then the length how many elements you want to copy from the source to destination so first I have to pass the source the source is this numbers the second is this numbers one perfect and I want to copy only these five elements so either I can use this numbers dot numbers one dot length like this and here if i want to display the value from the numbers one let's do it like this remember we have not assigned any value in this numbers we are only copying some elements from this numbers to this numbers one it means if i will apply this for each loop then let's see what is the output here you can notice we are having all five elements 10 9 1 7 and 2 what will happen if i'm passing some less number over here let's say it is 2 run this application again here you can notice we are getting only two elements and in rest of them we are having the default value of this integer type perfect what will happen if i'm passing more than the capacity of this numbers one array so let's say here i'm passing 10 remember this numbers one can hold maximum five elements but here we are passing 10 so it means there must be an exception let's run it and here you can notice we are getting the exception it is saying source array was not long enough let's pass some less let's say it is seven run it and this time you can see we are getting the error destination array was not long enough this is how you can use the copy method on array in c programming language the next method is going to be clear method so let's say i want to clear all the elements from this numbers array how can i do that so for that let's just comment this method and here again let's use that previous one which is numbers and this time i want to apply this clear method right in the clear method we have to pass one array which is numbers like this remember this numbers array has couple of values but here we are applying the clear method it means this method will remove all the elements from this array let's run it here you can notice we are getting only the zero zero the next method is going to be binary search to work with the binary search the array must be in the sorted order so let's just use the sorted order one two three four five six seven eight like this and here i want to apply the binary search and remember for the binary search let's see what we have to pass so we have to pass 
the array and then the value so let's say i want to search the index of this four perfect let's put a breakpoint over here and let's just run this application we need to store this value in some variable so let's say it is where index is equals to like this here you can notice that the index of this four is three zero one two three and and this method is using binary search behind the scene so it will improve the performance of your application as well let's say here i want to find out the index of this seven element the value seven let's run it here you can notice we are getting the six element so these are some very basic operations that are available in the array class now i want to talk about some more operations by using the link queue and just to tell you guys in almost all the applications we always prefer link queue operations on these arrays so let's see how that will work now i have a requirement that i need to increase the value of these elements by one how can i do that so first approach could be that i can run a for loop and i can update all the values by one but i want to do that by using the link queue so how can i do that here let's say i'm having this where result is equals to here i'm having this numbers dot select and it is like x is equals to x plus one dot to array right and let's just and this time let's put a breakpoint over here and let's run this application so in the numbers you can see we are having all the elements which is one two three four five six seven eight in the result you can notice we are having again all eight elements but the value has been increased by one so it is two it is three that's how it is so basically if you want to perform any kind of operation then you can do that over here now let's say i want to select those elements from this array which are greater than four so for that i can apply one more method which is where and in this where method let's say i'm applying the logic where x is greater than four and select this x like this okay let's just run this application and this time you will notice that in the second result we are having only four elements and we are having all values which are greater than four let's understand one more question from the link you let's say i have let's say i'm having two arrays and let's give one meaningful name over here let's say the values are 100 200 and the 300 let's say i want to combine both these array into single array how can i do that so for that here i'm writing this where let's say it is result here it is numbers dot concat and in the concat method i can simply pass the second one which is numbers one and to execute the value we need to use the two array method like this let's just run this application here you can notice that in the result we are having 11 elements and first we are having all the elements from the first array and then we are having all the elements from this second array so this is how you can combine both of them remember guys there are so many operations that you can perform on this array that is all in this video thank you for watching